It's this week's recommended Blender downloads. Let's go. Alright guys, how's it going? It's came to that time of the week again where I scour the internet looking for the best downloads for your downloading pleasure. I'm going to quickly kick this off with a simple visibility add-on. As always, please support third-party developers and artists. Simple visibility, a small Blender add-on to keep the render visibility in sync with the viewport visibility. Now, how many times have you disabled something in the outliner, or you've disabled it somewhere else, you've went to render, and it's not there on the scene? This might be the add-on for you. Now, next one up is from Mark. Now, Mark did get in contact with me over on Twitter. If you would like something reviewed or even just mentioned, I'm happy to try and help out the best that I can. This is a procedural Canon shader for Blender. Use it however you want. I will, mate. I'll grab it as soon as this video is made. It's available for free. I'll put all the links in the description down below. And this one has been making pretty big waves recently. And I did mention it last week, and it's the UV Packer for Blender. UV Packer add-on for Blender stand out due to its power to optimally pack UV sheets with a single click. Now, if you've ever used something like Rhizome, this might be a little bit familiar. It is available for free. You need to download the Blender add-on and you need to download the standalone, I believe. Plenty of tutorials out there. And if you're like me and suck at UV, this one is a definite must. Now, I did quickly read about this, and it's the BPY+. BPY+, a set of modules to extend the Blender Python API. So maybe you're a third party developer or you make add-ons, this one might be worth having a quick read for. Now, viewport orbit modal. When I moved from Lightwave to Blender, I found navigation, especially with the camera, a little bit clunky. This add-on is to orbit, roll and change the view focal length modal by mouse clicking and dragging. So this might be of interest to you. Now I thought I'd throw this one in for good measure and it's from Bradley Animations. Blue and Flower Blender Animation Nodes, so maybe you want to get into animation nodes and you need something to dissect. Definitely worth checking out this page, some really nice resources. Next one up is from Dr Blender and it's the Chevron Parky Wood Floor and you also have the Wood Shader for Tiles. Now these are limited in terms of downloads, 185, 178 left. There is some very nice materials here, definitely worth checking the site out as well. Next one up is Just 3D Things, Geometry Nodes Brick Generator. Now you're going to start seeing this a lot when it comes to Blender because Geometry Nodes is going to be a lot more prevalent. Brick Generator using Geometry Nodes is available for free. Next one up is from Julio and it's the Material Tech Pack and some of these materials look pretty good to be honest. Now this is one I recommend that you bookmark. If you scroll down, there's thousands of materials. And this is my recommended commercial add-on of the week. Now. Most of you will know that I'm inside of the Erendale Discord. I do not have an affiliation link. Erin, you need to sort me out, bro. Show me the money, show me the money. No, I actually think this is a really nice product. And it's the Erendale Toolkit. Includes camera culling and LODs for geometry nodes. Like I said, you're going to start seeing a lot of geometry nodes. It's five euros. You get a seven minute tutorial that kind of complements the tool. Definitely worth checking this out if you want to get any geometry nodes as well. And this is my recommended Sketchfab download of the week, and it's the drone ship, and it's available for free, and it's also a staff pack. Check out this bad boy. I cannot believe that is for free. And just quickly wrapping up from Texture Haven, you have the Concrete Wall 002. Very nice PBR material, if you're ever needing a wall. And last but not least, it's the HDRI Haven Reinforced Concrete HDRI Map. And that's been me for the week. Do me a favour guys, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, it takes a bit of effort to actually make these. Follow me on Twitter, I'm on TikTok now, don't even ask, you know what to do. Take care.